Experts say enemy state Iran has amassed a fearsome arsenal of biological and chemical weapons. In the region of Tel Aviv, the Israeli military organized its largest biological warfare attack simulation in history this week. Sources told JPOST TV that the simulation, which spanned two days, cost more than $1 million. The victims were played by more than 1,000 Israeli Defense Force soldiers. Hospitals continue to take in real medical emergencies, as would occur in a real-life situation. Organizers of the drill said the drill was not held in response to the growing threat from Iran or any other hostile neighbor. In Israel, we maintain a high index of preparedness to any emergency event. Is there a reason why it's happening right now, this, this uh, drill, or is it a scheduled? Uh, it's a scheduled drill. It was scheduled according to the conference, so we can share our knowledge with other people, with our friends from all over the world. But one expert who monitored the activity said Israel must prepare for the possibility of hostilities. How important were these exercises today? The exercises are very important. Uh, they're important as a basis of understanding what you do know and what you don't know about how to protect yourself. I'm sure uh, a major part of what these today's and then tomorrow's continuing exercise will teach is what uh, loopholes there are. You talked about the one country that's probably have the biggest biological arsenal in the world. Or what country you're talking about is Iran. Meanwhile, the head of the Jordanian Red Crescent, who was in town for the exercise, said that in the face of such terror, Israel and Jordan would share the same fate, and that the friendship, which already exists on paper, would be forced to manifest itself on the ground. Do you think that, that the, Red, the Red Crescent from Jordan would be prepared to come in and uh, assist our uh, medical services. Then of course, but don't forget that we in the region, if anything should happen, again it will affect Jordan to a large extent because we're not too far. You our know. fates are bound together when it comes to this kind of threat. You're right, we're in the same ship. You put a hole in and we all sink. Israeli officials agreed. Infectious disease doesn't realize there is a border. We offer our friendship to the countries around us. Josiah Ryan, J-Post TV, Tel Aviv.